In addition to the TED Talks, three of our students went above and beyond this year and participated in a workshop in partnership with the FAU Wilkes Honors College. This workshop was the FAU Science Scholars Workshop, and um, it is my honor to introduce um, Aisha Sadika, Hannah Ali, and Gail Michelle, who will explain what uh, this workshop entailed. Take it away, ladies. Good afternoon. Today we are going to be talking about how chronic stress in early life causes adult anxiety in zebrafish. It is presumed that trauma from early childhood is carried throughout the stages of development, which may possibly impact adulthood. Now, because 70% of zebrafish genes are similar to human genes, zebrafish can be studied as a reliable model of how our brains respond to early life stress. However, how our brains respond to early life stress has not fully been tested. We hypothesize that ELS will cause changes in behavior. Fish are subjected to random sharks as larvae and then are tested in a bottom-dwelling assay at two months of age. When introduced in a novel tank, the zebrafish initially prefer the bottom of the tank, but as time goes on, they start to explore the top of the tank. More time at the bottom equals higher anxiety in fish. So as shown in the results, the ELS fish spent a much higher time at the, top, at the bottom of the tank than, than the control group, which were not subjected to any shock or stimuli. So this indicates that the ELS fish were more stressed than the control group. Summary, we find that ELS causes anxiety in fish. This suggests that fish can be used to model and understand the effect trauma can have on human brains.